Okay, welcome back to using your fountain pens. Anyway, um, I'm going to introduce you to this new product. Well, it's not really new. It's been out for about a year and a half, maybe two. It's by Tim Holtz. It's a scrapbooker um, thing. If you go into Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you go into the scrapbooking section, and then they have, like, Tim Holtz stuff. This one's called Distress Glaze. This stuff's, um, what it does is it puts a coating on your paper to make it waterproof. Okay, I'll show you how it's going to work. Um, in film pen world, I've never heard of anybody using this. I know a lot of scrapbookers use this on their envelopes. So I'm going to show you guys, you fountain pen people, you don't have to have a waterproof ink. You just use this on your envelope and it won't. Okay, let's go. Um, please bear with me. I'm doing this one-handed. Um, so if it gets all shaky, I apologize now. Okay. The pen I'm using is a Jinho. And the ink I have in it is a Mont Blanc uh, Blue, if I believe. Yep. That's what I used. And... Use the envelopes like I showed you in the first video. What I did, it's kind of did like a basic format of you going to mail a letter. So your return address, your address to where your stamp would go. And then the ink and the pen that I'm using. Okay, since I'm doing this single handling, I'm going to put this in a clip. If I can. Bear with me. There we go. Okay. Got our glaze. Grab your finger in it. You just need a little bit. And I'll show you. On half of this uh, two address. What you do is you just kind of buff it in. Just do a little circular motions. Just imagine this stuff kind of like... um. Car wax. Have you ever waxed your car? Uh, yeah, everybody has. All you do is just put a little on. Just kind of rub it over everything. You don't need a lot. This jar will last you a good time. Do not put it over here where it says stamp because if you put it on there, your stamp will not stick to your envelope. Um, which is kind of cool in the camera. You can see the little glaze. You can see where my fingerprint was. Just take a paper towel. I just took a piece of it. Fold it up. Now I'm going to buff off the remaining of it. Just like wax in your car. And flip it over on a good dry side. Buff it up. Then you're like, come on, Banaga. Does this stuff really work? I'm going to show you one minute. Okay. Let me take it out of my clip. I got me some water here. Squared some water all over this bad boy. This is usually what we really don't want to see our envelopes go through. A lot of water. But I am sacrificing this envelope for you guys, my viewers. Okay. Well, this envelope is really good. Could you see how the water is not going over that area? See how it's just kind of pulling up and off of it? It's restricting the water from seeking into the paper. See where on this side, you can see all the ink just sloshing around, lifting up. Okay, over here, new. Okay, wipe it off. See, still waterproof. So, let's do a different envelope. This is the one from last week that we did. 
And then I grab my water once again. What I did is I did this half with it, this other half I did not. And you can see the inks that I used. You can see how the ink is bowling up and moving. Then on this side, it is not. See how that is picking up all the ink? This side's not waterproofed. This side, I waterproofed. <laughs> my paper dolls all soaking my. Yeah, now you can see how the ink is lifting. You can see the different names of the inks that I used and the pens. Let's just torture this paper. Well, be fair, we'll torture this other side too with the wax crap on it. The glaze, I mean. Okay. Tortured. Okay. Now we can see how the ink lifted on this side and not on this side. This is the side that I proved this was the side I did not glaze. Okay. That is using your fountain pens more. And you do not have to have a bulletproof, waterproof ink. Just... This is just a simple Mont Blanc ink, which everybody knows it cleans off with water really simply. And all you need is this. Yeah, if you have a girlfriend, wife, uh, scrapbooking friend, say, so, hey, um, tell me about that distress glaze stuff. And they could either, if they, ha they most likely have some on hand, then they could uh, give you a little sample or just go on down and purchase them. It's like, five bucks last time I remembered it might have gone up you know how inflation is in this world okay well I hope you enjoyed this um catch you later uh, see you next week with a new way of using your fountain pens all right later bye